Want a bad cube? Just get the Rubik's 3x3. Three three. Can only do a U2 max. It's absolutely terrible. It can't corner cut. And even if it does corner cut, then you have to put a lot of force and the camera might fall down. You have a lot of space to corner cut. It just can't do it. And uh, yeah, it just isn't that great of a cube. It's extremely tight and I don't think it has any springs. And uh, yeah, it can't corner twist because it's really tight. It's a really bad cube. Sometimes it only does U-turns with a single flick. Wow, this cube is terrible, even with wrist turns. Now, I do not think that this is a good cube. It turns very stiff and it's just, yeah, thumbs down. And adjustment, wait a second, there's no adjustment? Any other cubes have adjustment? Let's see, Ooh, spring compression and loosening and tightening. See, how about this? Uh, oh, it looks like there's magnet adjustment, spring adjustment, and uh, tension adjustment. Like, what's going on? Why doesn't this have any adjustment? This, and while well, other cubes turn extremely smoothly and fluid and have really good corner cutting, and they also have magnets and can do a U4. Yeah, and that's not a fluke. This can do it too. They're really good. Look at them go. And then the Rubik's brand, well, it's not that great. And we all know why. Call 555-5555-5555 to get it today. Even though there are better cubes for a better price. Or as we like to call them, the knockoffs. But they're sure really good. You're fired. Because he said that our cubes are bad. But mommy said always to tell the truth. Well, then your mommy's wrong.